All right, guys, welcome to the video. Anthony Special here with Hawkeye Traders. Hope you're having a wonderful day. In this video, we are going to break down a real live trade that I identified and also placed on my own. And not only did I identify it and place it on my own, I did it in front of other live traders trading live money. Now, whether they took this trade or not, that's, of course, none of my business, nor can I instruct them to or not. Um, but I did provide, based on volume and price action, the analysis that led to what I think set up a great trade. Now, did I expect it to do everything it did? No, but based on the evidence, based on price action, I was able to identify areas where the market may find support. So let's dial in on the candle that really matters, okay? So we're going to look here very specifically at 3.54 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that's early in the morning. <clears throat> this candle placed a wide bar, and at the time, you'll see that it was the highest buying volume placed since the overnight open. So with that transpiring, what do you see immediately after? You see rejection. So this candle to me now tells me, hey, super high buying volume, no follow through that's a sign of exhaustion or even perhaps a volume climax okay that means the buyers gave it all they got and they had nothing left after this bar printed so i just drew a box around this bar and i said all right listen we got to pay real close attention to this because if buyers push back into this area again they may continue to fail and if they continue to fail a shorting opportunity may in fact come about so believe it or not sometimes it only takes acknowledging one specific candle and hawkeye makes it really easy because not only do we make it print the color on the bottom we provide the radar dot so ultra high volume radar dot and then we also provide the wide bar which is this magenta bar that's printing here on the screen so as i said i boxed this area off looks really great so now what do I have to do is just pay attention to what price action does every time we retrace back into it. So notice we took a push below, we came back, we placed a high here where we were not able to overcome. So here at 77.15, we were unsuccessful in closing above that level. And what we did is we placed a double top. All right, so for those of you who are familiar with what a double top pattern is, it's, it's a, a, an area in the market that buyers approach and are unsuccessful in overcoming. Now a double top can certainly be qualified by a wick penetrating, but not closing above it. So that's exactly what we created here. So here's our double top. Here is a downward trend line I drew inside of an area of supply identified by this wide bar where failure had occurred by the buyers. So here's the double top that I identified in real time, okay? As the market's ticking away, I go, guys, we just placed a double top. Not only is it a double top, it's a double top testing a downward trend line off the overnight highs, okay? If we fail here and if we go lower, first objective should be testing what would be called the neckline. The neckline is the low in between the double top. So here's the high, here's the low, here's the retest and failure. That's what constitutes the double top. So if we push here, we're gonna push into that neckline or that low in between. If we push below that, we should then test this prior low followed by another session prior low. These two were stacked pretty close together. Okay, you can see two little wicks off here to the side, followed by the, uh, in the, the open low. So the market opened, the Globex market opened at 1800 Eastern Standard Time the night before, and it placed a low. So these were all the objectives, okay? based upon this double top if we continue lower. So we laid into a lot of targets, right? But if we broke below these, I went on to provide even deeper targets. Okay. So I want you to take a look at this. From that double top, 
We pushed as low as $74. This should be $74.50. I typoed it and I will fix it. Now, we went lower than my last target. But below the low of the session, below the Globex open, and I'll zoom out so you can see it all. So this is the Globex open low. Below that low, I had expectations of 7630, 7610, 7580, 7560, 7430, 7470, 7450. Okay? We did go as low as $74 later on as time went on. But as I identified this live, and as the market sold off live, all of these targets were acquired okay now what's the difference between looking back in hindsight or actually saying out loud live in front of witnesses saying hey guys this is what's transpiring if this double top holds this is what we could be in for now did i know we were going to go that low of course not nobody ever knows all right but through understanding volume and price action I was able to provide expectations based upon the price breaking down. But it all stems back to understanding where and why the price broke down. The price broke down because of this big candle specifically at 3.54 a.m. The buyers climaxed here and you could see every time they tried, they continued to fail and fail and fail. Perfect double top setup drove us into the neckline, into all these prior lows, and then eventually into as deep as 74.50, which was calculated, and ultimately $74 later on in the session. So guys, if your foundation of how you're trading is not focused on volume and price action, it should be, okay? So before you start adding anything else to the screen, and I will remove my drawing so that you can see ultimately what comes to the screen with, right? It's just volume, it's just price action, right? Those should, that should be the forefront of what you're concentrating on before you start adding things. The drawings are simply my interpretation, okay? And my interpretation stems from the understanding of volume and price action. So I want to invite you to go below this video. I want you to click on the link, all right? There's a webinar link there. I want you to consume that content. After you do that, I want you to reach out to myself, my Hawkeye Concierge team, and I want you to ask your questions because chances are you're trying to employ a method that is not volume and price action forward. How do I know that? Well, I've worked with hundreds at this point, maybe even thousands of traders who have this strategy or this gimmick that works sometimes. The only thing that works all the time on all time frames is volume and price action. It doesn't matter if you're day trading, swing trading, position trading. It doesn't matter if you're trading stocks, futures, forex, or cryptocurrencies, even options. If you're not focused on the volume and the price action, everything else becomes a variable of those two things. Whereas if you just dial in on them first, you would be surprised how much else you don't need to understand what the market's doing and how much clarity will actually come to your ability to read the market. Because first and foremost, guys, once you've mastered that emotional state, once you've mastered that trading psychology, you know, and you've mastered your analytical still skills, you will find that less is more right i trade on a blank chart right i look at multiple time frames and otherwise i'm focused on two things volume and price action because that's all i need and truthfully guys that's all you need so i want you to click that link i want you to watch that webinar i want you to strongly think about is your trade plan volume and price action forward could it be better with the hawkeye tools and accessing the hawkeye mastery library of volume and price action and i genuinely believe it could so i appreciate your consideration 
Thank you for watching this video. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. And please do not hesitate to reach out to myself and my team. We are here to answer your questions and to help you along your journey. And I can assure you from a personal standpoint, as a paying Hawkeye customer, volume and price action will be the pinnacle pivot within your trade plan, within your trading career. Understanding those two things and the relationship between them, employing the Hawkeye indicators, which will simplify that process, guys will genuinely, genuinely make everything look much more clear than it is cloudy at the moment. God bless, guys. Thank you for being here, and I will see you in the next video.